Hello. We are live. Uh, the order. I wasn't going to go live today, but I've been conned into it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but it's it's all for a, a good cause. So. Well, I don't know if it's good cause, but it's so, a cause nonetheless. So, uh, uh, Ray's going to show some books. He got a huge comic book haul from former comic book collector, soon to be comic book collector, G Pep. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think. I got so. a package from Evan and a package from G Pep. Yep. So I will uh, let. Oh, let Ray take over. Oh, no, that's me. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button then. <laughs> you were practicing this before we started. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there you go, Ray. All right. You do you want to wait until we get somebody in the chat? Or All right, yeah, we can do go. that. Yeah. We'll give it just a minute, see if anyone comes We'll give around. it a minute. Um, so... If you want to know what's going on over this side of the world, New Zealand went into lockdown yesterday for four weeks. We had 48 hours pre-lockdown pre, uh, to get things sorted, get our families and everything ready for it. So we are on lockdown. Sadly, I am an essential worker, so I've got to carry on working. But So I've done two days of work during the lockdown, and now I've got two days off where I've barricaded myself in my house. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so um, scary times, and it will be for all of you people too. So, you know, it is what it is. We just got to just get some concrete in our spines and harden the hell up. <laughs> you know? Where I'm at, um, I believe we just passed a 1,000 confirmed cases. And yep. our governor is a idiot. Right. Do doctors, mayors, everybody's urging him to shut down Tennessee. Right. But he's ignoring it. He, yeah. He's a freaking idiot. Yeah. He he needs to just shut us down for at minimum two weeks. Right? Yeah. Two weeks to a month. Shut it right. down. But Currently, there's no case, no confirmed cases in the county that I'm in yet. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got, as of today, we had a spike. We had 83 cases, the highest we've had so far. So we've got 363. But out of that 363, yesterday, 28 had fully recovered from it. So I don't know what the number today is uh, for how many recovered today so um probably a few more so that number's incorrect you know mm -hmm. so and well, all, all of the numbers are are incorrect right now because it takes yeah. so long for you, for people to start showing symptoms and also tests are be are slow so yeah so like this is a this is a moment in history right now so you know the last big moment in the history would have been world war ii for global mm -hmm. moments you know we're talking big things and then the great depression before that right and then before that was Wait, world war was, then, was the great depression before or after world before war II? i think before. world war ii got them out of the great depression because it created jobs and it cold mm -hmm. uh, population you see so um and then i think the next big event was spanish flu globally you know i think that mm -hmm. killed quite a few people yeah and then before there was world war ii so you know this is in that league of events and mm, i don't i don't i don't know if it's quite in that league yet well, um, I think it is because everybody's. I don't think it's unprecedented that we've closed every 
countries closely bordered. Yeah, it, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of yeah. countries are taking precaution for just yeah. in case. But yeah. at the moment, as far as infected and the deaths at at this very moment, it's not also, quite there yet. Is it the first time in history that there is no sports? I don't know. Can you think of anything that's on. Uh. I would say World War Two, but that would be a lie. No sports, but no events. I mean, first time I've heard of sports. No sports event. No nothing. You know what I mean? We've got Nanobot in the chat. Hello, hello, Nanobot. Nanobot. How are you? Um, but one good thing, at least in the U.S., um, our government should be voting for it today. Well. Friday, yeah, um, which would mean that all that U.S. Well, adults will be getting like twelve hundred dollars. Um, right. Couples will be getting twenty four, and yeah. for every child under seventeen, will be getting five hundred. Hello, Gene. Hello, how are you, sir? Good. Gene Paul Ace Peter is in the house. I pulled out some books that I picked up. Cool. You want to go first? Yeah, I only have a small stack, so tiptoe. Tiptoe them back into the collecting, you know? Yeah. There you go. So, uh, so um, just, uh, there you go. Um, House of Mystery, annual number one. First appearance, Eye Zombie. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Uh, go, I like Eye Zombie. Go back to, uh, DC, I'm no longer boycotting DC books. Hey, you you finally you finally got a good taste in comics. No, that's not <laughs> no, that's not what it's about. You, you, you know I like to rag. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Fantasy number ten. This is the first appearance of uh, Vampire by Night. <clears throat> Very cool. Mm -hmm. You too, Nanobot. <clears throat> yeah, same Nanobot. Uh, Brother Power of the Geek, number one. Boom. Very cool. Got to have that in my collection. Pick this up. Not for this cover price. This is just a bag. It was in the Uncanny X-Men, 148. This is a sharp, sharp copy, too, man. Cockrum. First appearance of oh, Caliban. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. True, true. Uh, New Mutants, number 13. Oh, you got cool. that that book there was so hard for me to find. I've been looking for it for years, right? And then Four Way Flash has got me one a few weeks ago, and now I've seen it again. <laughs> uh, okay. Count. Wonder Woman two hundred four. This is the first appearance of Nubia. Very cool book. DC yeah, cool Twenty book. Center too. Very okay. nice. Hey, Count. If you want to join us, is there a link in the? Chat Ray and our chat. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be checking. Yep. Another high grade copy on Candy X Men One Forty Six. This is first arcade in continuity. Yep. Cool. So, great cover. Count a link is in the small chat. Uh, the Avengers Two Thirteen. This is where. This is the domestic abuse issue. Cool. It's a trial. Well, not cool on domestic abuse, but it, it's a cool comic. Let me put it that way. Uh, issue two thirty two, where Avengers uh, or two thirty two Avengers, where Euros gets his name Star Fox and and joins the team. So this is where he becomes Star Fox. So right. cool. yeah, low, low key spec. No worries, Camp. It's all good, brother. Uh, the Avengers two twenty three classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very Bond nice cover. white cover. Uh, nice bondage cover. She looks really good on this. So Wonder Woman issue two nineteen. Cool. She looked really good. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Um, those were just the single issues that I picked up recently. Um, I'm trying to not pick up stuff. You know. I'm yeah. Trying to because I'm trying to do actually what I'm doing now is collecting trades. So You're taking, uh, taking it a bit slow. Yeah. <clears throat> so I got a bunch of trades. So this is Mark Malara, Kingsman. 
That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I'm so pumped to find this. It's not hard to find, but people always want a little too much for it, and I got it for five bucks. This is Watchmen. Sweet. Very cool. Yeah. I don't only, care for the writer, but it's a good story. I'll only pay $5 for soft, for soft cover trays, and yeah. it does me well. Uh, Planet Hulk, Incredible Hulk, a whole, whole story of that. That's pretty That's sweet. Great. That is cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. World War Hulk, which uh, I've read this. Greg Pack is awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, I've been continually picking up these uh, from my local shop, Heroes and Hobbies. Immortal Hulk, volume number five and six. These now these trades are so thin. Mm -hmm. There's only five five issues in each, but whatever. Good read, that. I'll tell you what. Love it. Uh, X-Men Omega, The Age of Apocalypse, issue number three, volume number three. Now, that's a big-ass yeah. trade, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, regular price, $40 Canadian. I get it for five bucks. I'll do that all day. Yeah. X-Men yeah. X -Men 2099. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Nice cover. Uh, x X Women, Claremont, Monera, Milo Monera. Yep. Nice. Uh, I'll say that for last. I'm reading that one. Uh, Spider Man, Deadly Foes, Spider Man, but it also collects uh, uh, Lethal Foes of Spider Man. Cool. cool. Yeah, whatever. Astonishing Spider Man and Wolverine. Why not? Something to read. Yeah, one or day. I believe that's quite good. So, um, I was reading this. I'm almost done. Got a little bit to read. You know, I'm stubborn that way. Like, it's just, just a little bit more to read. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is Wolverine Sabretooth. So, this uh, compiles collecting Wolverine 50 to 55 and Wolverine 310 to 313. So, it's just basically Wolverine Sabretooth stories. Cool. Uh, but it's good. It's good. It's a good read, but hardcover. I hate reading hardcovers. Yeah. This I'm reading now, which is awesome. The list. This comes after oh, yeah. dark. Yeah, this is around the dark rain area. Yep, yep. And uh Ronan Hawkeye is is going to kill. He's got a hit list of people he wants to kill. Norman <laughs> Norman Osborne being one of them, but like right Sweet. out of I'm not i I'm not too far into it, but right out of the gate, he just takes Doc and and just puts a fucking arrow straight through his head. Because he's like, nothing can hurt me type thing. He's like, oh, boom, boom. <laughs> arrow Real right state. through his Yeah, man. Arrow right through his head. So uh, It's cool. That's it. That's what I got. It's cool. It's I agree, cool. man. I'm, I'm, very, very cool. I'm, still, I'm still collecting, like I said. I'm still picking up books to read. Yeah. Like, I'm just not, you know, going, going crazy with it at all. Like, like, look how much reading I got. And these are all, like, five bucks a piece. Like, that's yeah. crazy. You're a crazy man, man. We are crazy, boys. So, Ray, um, you've got a ton of books to show. Um, Yeah, a metric shit ton of books. And hello to Lula. I'll get you on the screen. Oh, it's so Tallulah. true. You, know, hey, you want to join us? You're quite Jonathan's welcome. one of them. You know, he's Jonathan is one of the people I haven't spoke to in a long time. I feel like, but he's one of the most stand-up guys I met on here. Yeah, he's uh, a cool guy. I, I, I sincerely mean that, man. He's a, he's a solid stand-up. I am um, actually speaking to Chula. He sent me uh, some Wolverine comics a while back, and you know what the cool thing was? They were in Mala, but the cool thing was he had wee notes on the back of them, That's telling me all, all sorts of wee info bits about that. But it was pretty cool. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. Are you safe, Jonathan? Are you safe? You're not. Jay. Okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> there we go. Ready, you're ready, ready. Ready. All right. So I've, I've gotten two packages in like the past week. Yeah. So I'm going to show the smaller one first, get that one out of the way. 
Cool, uh, Cholula. Cool. That's good, Cholula. We're in lockdown over here. Uh, the whole country's been put into lockdown. It's day two of lockdown for four weeks. But I'm with Central, so i got to work. But that's all good. Doing my part. That's the main oh. thing. Okay, so to start off with the worst thing ever, um, these came in the Dark Knight, Master Race, whatever. Yeah. So it's Frank Miller well, well past his prime. <laughs> yeah, I can see sorry, that. Frank Miller fans, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> this is just, I mean, look at this. Oh, I know, I know, I know what his work, yeah, it's an acquired oh taste. It's an acquired taste. It's a bad taste, that's what it is. But it's so bad, it's funny, so. But, you, hey, I almost have those you thought. Yeah, might as well. Okay, uh, free comic book day, Justice League Adventures, this is from 2002. So, an early free comic book day. Ooh. Yeah, man. Cholula, he used to be really, really good. And he's just past his prime. That's really all it is. And I'm not really talking bad about him. It's just he's, he's yes, past his prime. Yes, you are. Don't lie. You are. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Action Comics 826. Nice. Agents of Atlas, number one. Cool. Superboy, number one. Now that style needs to make a comeback. Now, that's when I, I thought DC was pretty cool back then. They need to bring back the leather leather jacket and boots and gloves. Because I, uh, I think I was about 15 with that book coming out, probably. I'm just guessing, but yeah. Um, let's see what year was it? It was 94. So it was February of 94. I wasn't born yet. Yeah, I was 17 and 94. Just moved out of home. Yeah. That's Superman 679, Alex Ross cover. Yeah, well, that Wolverine miniseries is amazing. I've got to say. And his yeah. dead evil stuff. His he, he was in his prom back then, though. That's, yeah. that's the deal. Um, Adventure Comics 504. Well, it's volume two, number one, but it's 504 as far as legacy goes. It's my second copy of that. True. Cool. Oh, yeah, bro. Did you hear me the whole time? Was I just uh, a, little, a little bit, yeah. I was like blowing my nose and shit. <laughs> Death of Hawkman, number one. Here's the new apartment going, all right? Love it. Yeah. Batman Love it. Superman 28. I don't know who that is, but that looks like Ghost Rider right there. It does. Like I said, I think it might be Mr. Bones, but I don't I don't know why I'm that would not be. Sure. Titans 18. Titans 20. This is an homage to uh Tales of the Teen Titans 39, I think, or New Teen Titans 39. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll show it here in a little bit. Uh, previews wanted it just because Legion on the cover. That, okay, uh, th that team for because they're they're the high class X Men. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it takes place in the future. There's yeah a whole bunch of planets, alien races, time yeah. travel. It's like, and I'm I'm not doing this to rag on you, but it's slightly similar, very slightly similar to Doctor Who, but before Doctor Who, right? You know right. what I mean? Yep. Very slightly. Yep. Okay, so this is a French reprint of, I believe, Avengers 184. Yeah, I could be wrong. I looked it up, but. I uh, can't be bothered to remember. Jungle Adventures number two. That's cool. Actually, that's quite kind of cool, bro. Adventure Comics uh, number three sixty five. That's the first appearance of Shadow Lass. Nice book. 
Yes, it is. Yeah, that's a great book to have. I, 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 I had recommended to other people before, go pick off some of these first appearances of the Legion of Superheroes, like Timberwolf. Uh, mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, some of them, unfortunately, appear in the first three, you know, showcases, which are pretty pricey, but... Yeah. Um, not not showcase uh, advent, adventure comics two forty seven yeah and the earlier issues they're they're pricey um yeah. but you get characters like Timberwolf Shadow Lass you get Block Block is freaking awesome Block is awesome was it 205, two oh five two two fifteen something like that I don't remember yeah I forget what issue it is but Block's a great character. A little um, bit of a little bit of trivia about Block. You know, every Legion of Superheroes member has a ring to fly, mm -hmm. and because he's so heavy, he requires three rings just Crazy. to fly. But he had he has three fingers on each yeah. hand too. I mean, he's <clears throat> he's basically the thing, just an alien thing. He's cool. Yeah. Matter of fact, he looks like one of the aliens from the Mad Thinker from Fantastic Four. So, yeah. Okay, so blank for Legion of Superheroes. I'm unsure what I'll get drawn on it. Saturn Girl. You want to get Qu Quicksilver? No. No, um, <laughs> Saturn Girl or Chameleon Boy? I was yeah. thinking maybe either, okay, it'll either be um, like a group. It'll either be Saturn Girl, Shadow Lass, and Triplicate Girl. Yeah. Or it'll be like the first three Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lad, and Saturn Girl. But you could do an homage kind of cover, get Lightning Lad versus Lightning Lord. You yeah. know, like that's a crazy. We're even doing an homage of 247. Yeah. This one I actually got from you, Kyle. House of X number one, uh, one in 25, I believe. Yeah. Homage to what issue 23, 21, 24. Yeah, from 24. The so there's Joe Madeira, is it? I believe, yes, it is. Yeah, nice cover. Swordmaster number three. Any of y'all that know me knows that I'm into this style of comic. I've been trying That's to get I into some more anime, like it's it's kind of tough. Let's see, Cholula says, yo, can I say in the age of YouTube auction after auction, I really appreciate the show and tail type show, dropping knowledge. Cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you, man. You yeah. have to hop on uh, chat sometime with us. And, yeah, you should. Because I want to I know what you've got at the moment, you know. And John, I don't know if you know, but I, I've started over fresh. No more comics in my collection. I'm starting over fresh. This year, I'm approaching it, I'm going, uh, going, uh, going beer back. <laughs> I got no book. Get back. <laughs> it sounded wrong. But yeah, I did. <laughs> That's a really nice cover. Yeah, we got some of that gem. I do love that cover. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is like my fourth copy of this book. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think I have three of this first print and one of the fourth print that's black and white cover. Yeah, man. Well, you're one of our uh, calls in here, the uh, Ch Chula. Love that cover. Is that a regular cover? Is that a um, I believe it's a variant. It's a Mary Jane variant. I love it, man. Jane Hyung Lee, I believe. Yeah, I want you to send me that. I love that. I don't know, man. I really like that, too. Oh, so nice. We'll, we'll have to work something out. All right. So, effects family. It it is John. It, it, I'm telling you, man. Like it's it's a whole new thing. Like I feel like Craven the Hunter at this point. Like I'm like, you know, just sniffing out the area, trying to find these collections now where I can just dig my teeth in. Everything is everything is a get. There's no no gets. 
So it's very cool. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like I have all this other knowledge to back it up when I'm doing it. So like it's it's just good. Yeah. You know, it's um, one of those situations. I wish I knew what I know now. Then, well, I have that opportunity. So it's yeah. awesome. Um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> <'cause I've forgotten. laughs> Okay, so this is my first Golden Age book. I got it from Evan, uh, November, December, 1945. It's a qualified 5-0. It's missing page two, but that's okay. I don't care. Prize Comics number 56. Let's make sure that y'all can see that good. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Yep. Dope. Pretty awesome, man. That's a... And, good. and just, I'd like to say something about Evan. One of the nicest guys, former comic book community guys around, man. Yeah, he is. Yep. Yep, 100%. Yep. Always support Evan. Evan's a great guy. He's funny. Yep. He's a good guy, good sense of humor, and he's a, always very thoughtful people. He's a good guy, and uh, yeah, I don't want to inflate his head. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and but enough he's a good that, guy. Enough of that nice stuff about Evan. <laughs> but he's he's a, he's a solid dude, man. Yeah, he's a he's a straight up guy. Yeah, Chul will <laughs> say the same too. So yeah. All right, moving on to this big package from Gene. Hey now. Phrasing. Um who's who? It's number one. Lot of these, some of these who's who's actually had first appearances in, in as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more digging, but yeah. And I don't know exact like issue numbers without looking at CLZ. But there's volumes. I think there's four volumes. I think. Yeah, there's there's this. It goes up to 80. It goes from 85 to 87, and then there's an update for 87, 88, and 89. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's a double. Yeah. There's a few doubles, but that's all good. <clears throat> Try to blast through some of these because there's a lot. Where's he been? He's been either, if he's not working for the post office, he's been pulling his house to bits. <laughs> At the moment, that's where he is. <laughs> it's a nice one. It's got. I, I think maybe I threw in doubles because, like, some of them are beaten up. Yeah, one could be a reader and one's in a like, nicer shape. Yeah. Send those doubles to Splash, you know. No, because he'll end up hoarding them, even though he says he's not a DC collector. That's okay. I'll, I'll hoard them for myself. Yeah, why have one when you can have two? Eh? Hawkman's always been one of my favorite DC characters. Yeah, Hawkman. Oh, Hawkman's awesome. See, even I admit to that. Lots of black covers. Yep. Lightning Lad. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Martian Manhunter always been one of my favorites as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've got to admit, I do like the Martian Manhunter. And there's mon -El. That's another Legion of Superheroes first appearance. You know, it's secret to tell you, Ray. Uh, secretly in the 80s, I did dig DC a wee bit. <laughs> the 80s were a really good time for DC. Well, Superpowers action figure line came out, and I was right about that. There's Tits McGee. I um, yeah, I, I bought Legion of Superheroes during the '80s. It was a good I, run. I, uh, Paul yeah. Levitt, Keith Giffen run. Yeah, I was a big fan of that and All Star Squadron. Yeah, All Star Squadron um, was too. Yeah, I used to get what else did I get? Uh, Gem, Sun or Saturn. Yeah, that was only a mini series, but I used to like picking up mini series anyway. And around that time, Mar or DC was doing a lot of four mini series. Mm -hmm. uh, so you had like some uh, sort of Adam, things like that, sort of Serpent. I was um, I was getting Black Hawk. I can't well. remember what it's called. Then. Black Hawk. Yeah. This is where the update started. Right. 
because this was the who's who were coming out around the same time as crisis on infinite earth um so when things changed like when wally west took over his flash this has the who's who for wally west flash yeah kilowog mm -hmm. it's an undervalued book uh, always will be and same thing with a uh, silver age specter undervalued yeah. Doctor Fate, love it. Yep. Great character. A cool character. You know, he had a cool look. Um, Doctor Fate rules me. Yeah, he does. Uh, I'll still always pick Doctor Strange, but Doctor Fate rules. I yeah. prefer Doctor Fate Strange or Strange Fate. Oh, the the uh, amalgam. The, yeah. I've, uh, I've I've got secret a origin books. These books are great, man. Yeah, they are. They're so cool. Cholula, I, I, I don't, I don't. He's not my favorite. Um, granted, though, growing up, I grew up with the Justice League cartoon, and while he was the Flash in the cartoon, I just connect more with Barry than I do Wally. Those can be newsstands. Um, no. Terrifier with her sexy boobs. <laughs> First full appearance of Trigon. Yeah, boy. Cameo appearance of Blackfire. Is that the first Baron Blood? No. His first appearance is the previous issue, I believe. Oh. Okay, this one's a Canadian newsstand. Uh, Number 25, the first appearance is Jaw. Yeah. Okay, number 29. This is a cool cover. This is the one that I was talking about, that Titans 20. Oh, yes. Yep. The homage of that. Okay, new Titans 115. Don't remember that. The official Teen Titans Index, number one. That's kind of cool. Th those ones are kind of cool because they're non-licensed, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, New Teen Titans, volume two, I think, number four. Uh, printed on Baxter paper, just show the inside. The, and, and Baxter paper would make the colors pop so much better. And except Baxter paper was so much more expensive, they just never did it. They never, um, I forget what I think the Tales stories that they did, like Tales of Teen Titans and Tales of Legion Superheroes, was done on Baxter paper. There's another name for it as well. Uh, there's another type of Baxter paper. It's cool. Well, I know for, um, for. Legion of Superheroes, they considered, I think, Tales to be Baxter Legion and um, the regular Legion title to be Archie Legion. Yeah. That's the first appearance of Dick Grayson as Batman. Um, Robin 2 collector set for number three. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this must be awesome, right, for you. <laughs> it is. So much goodness. Well, it's all very specified to what he wanted, man. All these Starfires and Teen yeah. Titans, Legion. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there wasn't too much Flash in there. Uh, Only one issue of Flash. Yeah, like, what the hell? Yeah, oh, I've got some Flash for him. One day he'll get it. That's a hard one to get, that Wonder Girl. Yeah. It's, it does. It's not monetarily hard. It's just a difficult one to come across. So I love that cyborg one. Yeah. The spotlights were fun. Yeah, that's a good one, Nightwing. Yeah. Magenta. First appearance of. I don't know if that's 
uh, is there two Magenta's or is that the one that I'm thinking of? That's the one you're thinking of. She she made an appearance in a TV show. Okay. That's the first uh, appearance. Okay, cool. Back to Starfire on the spotlights. And Harbinger. Yeah, and Harbinger. Lala Under, Michael. Uh, underrated character. Great cover. Mm -hmm. Don't even remember giving you that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last issue for Spotlights. It's a nice solid run. Yeah, it is. All right, Tales of the Teen Titans. I love Cheshire. Yeah, is that her first appearance or? No, no. her first appearance is annual number two, along with like Lila oh. Michaels, Harbinger, and uh, Adrian Chase, Vigilante. That's a great cover. It's got a Days of Future Past yes. feel yeah, to it. Does. I hate through the crotch shots. Yeah. I hate it. Uh, number 56, I believe this might be a Canadian. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, it, it would say Canadian on it. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, don't. Um, this is First Parents of Jinx. Oh, is it 95 cents? Yes, it's 95 cents. Uh, 90, yeah, 95 cents is Canadian. Because those would normally seventy five cent. Yeah, this one's a ninety five cent as well. Yeah. Like I said, the convenience of living in Newfoundland, everything you come across, there's it was all it was all Canadian new stand edition. Mm -hmm. People need to hop on them. I mean, just look at the price difference for uh, first Beta Ray Bill. Just yeah. between newsstand and Canadian newsstand. First Hobgoblin. First. Uh, the value skyrockets. First appearance of uh, Spider Ham. It was the difference in selling that book for $40 or selling it for 140 Yeah. Like it was crazy. Love that one. I had a shit ton of first appearances of Blackfire, and then I lost them as well. I sold them. I wish I had hung on to them. I got a ton of Wonder Woman still left there, too. Baron Blood. Brother Blood. And Brother Mad Blood. Yeah, Madam something or another. All right, moving on to the next pile. Wildcats and one. One of that copy of that, don't you? Is that a new stand? Uh yes it is. There you go. Tom Masters number five. Number six. Eight. Firestorm number three. Superman Man of Steel twenty two. Flash number 12. Elongated Man number four. Random. Th this is what I mean. This was around the era that they were doing a lot of miniseries, one and fours. And mm -hmm. it was kind of like how they did it in New 52. They... they yeah. They were like, hey, let's give this fuckhead a character. Like, let's, let's get Con Gorilla. Let's see if that works. No, it doesn't. Flash TV special. That that one I was glad to get for you. Yeah, I love that book. Yeah, it's very cool. That is definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, Superman 254. I believe Kyle's got this book, too. I do. Yeah. I do have it. I think I might have got it off Eugene. Yep. I had a couple of copies. Yep. Witching Hour. Oh, yeah. Robert Galwin, I like that. I love these tw 20 centers. Oh, yeah. that one's one of my favorite covers. Love it, man. Wasn't there a movie, um, Happy Death Day, dealing with the Sweet 16 party? Very well, could have been. 
Uh, Strange Adventures 223. I love that book. I had three copies of it at one point. Yeah, it's cool. Every time I saw it, I picked it up. I don't know if it was the pink on the cover or the storming. There you go, my boy Jack Kirby. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, Jack Kirby goodness, man. More Kirby goodness. Of course, Ray only took the 20 centers. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken them all, man. Commandy rules. Commandy yeah. does. Oh, I remember reading that. Black Fury number 43, I think. Yeah, not as good as the other cover that we're going to see, but it's uh, that is uh, 1957? 1963. You're welcome, man. It's so good. Okay, so that's the direct. That. Oh, there, okay, for this one, there's both of them are direct. Okay. Uh, the Canadian newsstand for annual number two. Nice shape, isn't it, oh. too? Yeah, it is. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah. Um, the direct for number three. Love that issue. That one is a good one. Canadian newsstand for number three. Yep. Yeah. That's you know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> All Star Squadron twenty three first appearance of uh, of this particular version of Amazing Man. I used yeah. to have that book as a kid. All Star Squadron thirty. All Star Squadron man Conway killed it. Mm -hmm. Who's who was the team? It wasn't Conway and Ordway. Who was um, Roy Thomas. Roy Thomas. Uh, Rick Hoberg, Bill Collins, Mike Mocklin. Uh, as far as this light in the run, anyway. Oh, okay. That's that's a Canadian newsstand there. Yeah. That's Legal cool. Liberty. Uncle Sam. Nice cover. Another Canadian newsstand. Shining night, was, man. Yeah. That was an opportunity for them to tap into some of the old uh, Golden Age characters mm -hmm. or, or early Silver Age that did really strike. As Another cool Canadian. Yeah. See, this is cool. my childhood here, Chinese books. Cool, man. You need to make note on back of the books which ones are Canadians, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I've got to get some bags and boards. That, nope. Is okay. that a wraparound? Is that a wraparound? No. Okay, um, that's a great cover too. But yeah, like I said, man, you hook me. I'll hook you up with Canadians. You hook me up with the mm -hmm. with the Merrells. One woman, thirteen. Thirteen, isn't that the is first? That a bowl it, looks, it looks like a bowling. It is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's the first cameo or a Perez. It's the first cameo appearance of Cersei, I think, isn't it? I think no. So. And this, this is Perez. That's Perez. Mm. Just look on her face, look from a distance, look for me. Uh, number 14. That's Perez. Yeah. 15. First appearance of Snowbird. Snow. I don't know. She's, uh, I guarantee you, she's, there's the possibility. Number 16. First full appearance. 17 is a cameo of Cersei. Oh, there you go. Of a modern Cersei, anyway. Yeah. All this was after, Le oh, after Crisis on Infinite Earth, so the previous Cersei got wiped out. Anyway. Uh, number 19, this is the first full and cover of Cersei. Nice. There you go. Uh, 23. Strange cover. Yeah, it is. Very strange. Okay. Next pile. Who's who in Legion of Superheroes? Number one. Ray, just to fill everybody in, I, I sent Ray a package and it, it weighed uh, 15 pounds. 
So from Newfoundland, so yeah. Uh number four, two copies. Of the who's who. Yeah. Cosmic Boy number two. Yeah. I wish I had more of those. I think I had two or three or four. Three. Yeah. I think I was missing one of them. Um, I've got number four. I'm only missing number one from that mini series. Uh, this was from the Levitt's Gift and Run in the 80s. Uh, Legion of Supergirls number 60. Yeah. Again, Snare that that's on Baxter paper as well, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. No. No. So no. that this is the Archie run. The Tales is uh, Baxter. Superboy and Legion of Superheroes 207. Mike Grell. Amazing. Let's zoom in on that uh, image. Mike Grell, man. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. Mike Grell, man. Go to the guy over here listening. Yeah. There you go. See Mike Grell's yeah, signature yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, he's, that's probably my favorite signature. So out of, out of comic uh, artists yeah. or creators, even. It's a great issue. Uh, number 245. I think I threw in two copies of that. Uh, there was only one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Legion of Superheroes, number 300. This has a image yeah. of Garfield in it. It's like a first cameo of Garfield. Garfield. It's in the kit. Yeah, it's in the cat. Okay. That's a Gene Pauly's Peter Pedigree as well. Very awesome. That's really cool. Okay, now we're getting into the Tales run. After a while, these turned into reprints of the regular Legion title. Sorry, I'm just trying to move along. I love this cover. Thank you, Todd, man. It's so good. Um, they recently gave Dawn Star a last name. I don't know if you're still there, Gene. But um, it's very reminiscent of Creator. They gave her the last name Grell. Grell, actually. Mike Grell created her, so they gave her his last name here recently. Because for years, she didn't have a last name. It was just Dawnstar. Very cold, man. So how many comics all up did you get? You think? Um, over a hundred. That's cool. So awesome when you get a box full of comics, man. <laughs> Trust me. It put me over the seventeen hundred mark. Is it okay? Yeah. I just know that it's over a hundred comics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the last act. Pretty cool, man. Yep. 
these here were cool Wednesday comics. They open up yeah. like like a newspaper. Hold on. You see in it. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, they cool. So that's number three. Four. Five. They're even on the paper like a news, like a regular newspaper. Yeah. Suicide Squad number eleven. Starfire number four. Superpowers volume two number one. Kirby, is it? Um, Let me see. I don't. Yep, that's Jack Kirby. Gene, did you hear what I said earlier about Dawn Star? No. Um, they recently gave her a last name. What is it? Girl. So after Mike Girl. Okay. Dawn yeah. Star is a great character. Yeah. Super hot, super hot too. <clears throat> My favorite girl. Y'all know me. I, I love this type of stuff. This um, fun fact about this is that um, this was the first completed comic. Like they were um, testing, um, translating a, a, lo a lot of manga into English into this format of yeah. comic. And this was the first one that was actually completed. The rest were like one shots or or never yeah, finished. That's a big run for Eclipse as well. Yeah. That's the other thing. Eclipse comics. It's pretty cool. Well, I say that they finished, but the manga never actually finished. Um, but what was the manga? finished in the comics like they adapted all of the manga to regular comic and i think i basically got you a full run i think we might um 10 issues there there's about there's about 10 or 12 issues missing it's about half the run yeah, that's pretty sweet they're all in nice shape too yeah they are i don't think they've ever been read I wanted this one just because I thought it was kind of funny. Bedtime stories for impressionable children. That's a great book. Yeah, it looks cool. That's a cool cover. Yeah. Secret Origins, 80 page shot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is Impulse on that one? Yeah. Impulse, uh, one of the Robins and Superboy. And yeah. Spoiler, Wonder Girl, and Arrowette. Secret Files and Origins, JLA number two. Yeah. Justice League of America number 233. I believe this is a Canadian newsstand. It's a 95 center. That's the first appearance of Vibe. That's cool. Yeah. That is cool. And the first appearance of uh, Justice League Detroit. Very so cool. The beginning of the four series that kind of, and if you take the four members and match them up corner to corner, they, they form a kind of collage as well. Cool. Yeah, Gypsy and whoever the other two are, I forget. Oh, that's cool. Or Joe, Lord of Mars. I think that's a Joe Justo cover. Love it. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Justice League International 24. Yep. I like that cover. Always have. Ninja High School number five. Why well, I had to throw that in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Um, I believe uh, Antarctic Press recently picked that book back up. The Amazing Nat Rat. Crazy. Y'all get his first appearance while you can. Remember how many <laughs> copies of that I had? You had like 30 copies. It was insane, bro. 
Sherlock Holmes versus Harry Houdini. Very cool. I, I regret not. The only reason why, I, you know, I didn't finish the series, I didn't continue picking it up. Just I missed the day, missed the week. Yeah. yeah. And when it comes to like, you know, like dynamite and shit, it kind of fucks you up. Mm -hmm. Here's one for Kyle. The Southern Scott Squadron, Australia's own super troubleshooters. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> Starman Kong Gorilla. Which is cool. Adam yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool, yeah. Adam Hughes cover. He, he put his, his uh, if I can get the right finger here, he put his signature backwards. Oh, uh, that's cool. You got that, Kyle? I've um, never seen that before. You've never seen it before? Flip cover, though. Do what? What you There's for? a flip cover to that. Oh. So that's the uh, X-Cons. The, I'll swap uh, you something for that, Ray. <laughs> hey, you never cool. know, Kyle. It might end up being yours. Static number two. Now we had a bunch of those. Uh, that was only static in the box. One on a herb. I bought that with expectations. Uh, they let me down. Yeah. Want to get an inferno? The problem with Green Lantern is that there's too many goddamn Green Lanterns. <laughs> there's like ten of them just for ours. Robin plus Impulse. Interesting. Secret Origins number eight. Shadow Lass and Dollman. Very cool. He's got a cool origin. Yeah, man. Shadow Lass is hot too. Aquaman, Tom and Todd, number one. Uh, newsstand. I've got the graphic novel of that if you want it, Ray. Cool. I think it's newsstand, but it's not a Canadian one. No. World's Finest, number 213. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I love that Adam. Hmm. Justice League of America 37. Nice cover. Mm -hmm. I like that era, DC. JLA Avengers, number one. Nice. Yeah, good shit, man. Batman, The Return of Bruce Wayne, number one. That was a weird run. I, I picked it up. It was one of the DC things. I knew it was a six mini series, so I picked it up. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you got him as a caveman, him as a Western, him as, like, an untouchable, him as a crime fighter. Like, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's Grant Morrison. Yeah. Yeah, well, Grant, Grant Morrison's a Morrison. Um,. Best, this is the last book. Best of the Brave and the Bold, uh, number two. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jose Garcia Lopez. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. And that is all, folks. Wow, what a whole way. Yeah. That's pretty awesome, man. That's a lot of books. Yeah. A lot of all right, books. All right, Okay, awesome to see you, man. Later, Nanobot. So, I guess I'll show you what I've got recently. Uh, it's not much, but uh, yeah. So, um, we've got some books here. Haven't really been picking up much in the way of comics, to be honest. We've got one book for Ray. It's for you, Ray. <laughs> Go ahead, give it another poem. <laughs> That's for Ray. Oh, sorry, it's on the ground. <laughs> um, so we've got that one. 
Number eight. This has been cool. The Brood. I haven't read it yet, but uh, the last few issues have been really random and cool. So uh, there's something weird going on with Jean Grey, Wolverine, and Cyclops. They share the same. They they all live together. So you know. <laughs> Uh, we've got Marauders, latest show Marauders. I think this will be the last lot of comics, will it, Ray? Yeah, until Diamond starts shipping again. Here's my copy of that one. I just felt that fell on the ground. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know what this is doing here, but I think this I got this off Jean a while ago. So It was either Jean or Cold, one of the two. Uh, yeah, I think I got the Secret Wars 2 off Gene. I got the whole run, and I'm just bag and board one when I get some bags and boards. Or, so, but um, here's the cool stuff. Hey, here's the cool stuff. Oh, uh, uh, not really, but uh, so yeah, I'll just put that up. Hey, so happy 15th birthday to you, to modern who. Uh, today over here, tomorrow for you guys, but well, 24 minutes for me, yeah. Well, it's happy oh, birthday, for the, yeah. the, the pilot for the relaunch. So, same we're thing up. goes for, yeah. for um, modern, who, yeah. So, I got this the other week. We road sign with a TARDIS and Gallifrey on it, which I think is freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love that, you know. And then, um, so I bought some books. <laughs> they were half price, so I couldn't help myself. So we got the Abominable Snowman. I've had that for a wee bit, though, but I might as well show it. It's a reprint with the original cover, just done to look flasher. Uh, this is from the 1970s. This was written. So that is really cool with its original cover. Um, they used to have a range called the Target Book Doctor Who novel set. I think there's 155 books, if I'm correct. I have a full run of it. Um, I might be wrong by one or two, but yeah, I think it's about that. So, oh, really just, true. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, so a couple of years ago, <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they started to redo them. So we've got the Three Doctors, one of the greatest stories ever. Just my opinion. So last appearance of William Hartnell, Patrick Trout, and John Pertwee, you know. I mean, that's pretty cool. First uh, anniversary. This is celebrating 10 years of Doctor Who when this came cool. out. So uh, that was cool. William Hartnell died not long after, uh, two years after this. He was ill while shooting this uh, story. And mm -hmm. appearance of, first appearance of Omega, uh, sort of good, bad, uh, Tom Lord Ray. Have you seen the three doctors? Uh, I've seen part of it, should watch it, man. Yeah, it's cool. And Joe Grant, one of my favorite companions, Sergeant Benton, and the Brigadier. Brigadier is amazing in this, so he he just couldn't get it in his head, work out where how the doctor could, could change face. <laughs> So when he saw the second doctor again, he, he goes, as long as you can do the job, that's all good with me. I don't care what sort of face you carry. So <laughs> it's quite funny, actually, the Brigadier scenes in this book, uh, this TV show. So, yeah, that was that one. And then I got some of the, the newer ones. Um, so we got Day of the Doctor, which is really awesome. It's actually got Night of the Doctor in it as well, the... The Eighth Doctor's Regeneration uh, by Stephen Moffat. That was pretty cool. Um, really cool uh, paperback. I haven't no. read it yet, but uh, while I've got a bit of time, I will sit down and read this book. Uh, we've got Twice Upon a Time. I had to get them. So I've got, I've got in my paperback collection, I've got The Eight Doctors. I've got The Time Worm. Um, I've got... Now I've got a Twice Upon a Time and Day of the Doctor. I've got three Doctors, two Doctors, both Doctors. So now I've got this. So I've got all of the uh, – and the Infinity Doctors. So I've got all of the um, cross multi-Doctor uh, paperbacks. 
Um, Very cool. And we've got this is voted like the third greatest Doctor Who story of all time. Some people say it's the greatest. I think it's pretty damn awesome. Um, so it, it goes like this. You've got the Caves of Anjazani is ranked the greatest Doctor Who story of all time. And I wouldn't dispute that. Personally, I think it's Peter Davidson's finest moment as the Doctor. Um, so, but this is comes in, and then it's Blink is number two. And then this book here, this story here by Douglas Adam, Adams. You know who Douglas Adams is? Uh, no, not off the top of my head. The greatest, uh, what was it, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy? So, that TV show and book, well, mm. he did a few Doctor Who stories. So, one of the stories is Sharda, which was the unmade story they got because of strikes over in the UK back in the late 70s. So uh, that that story got half completed. Mm. And um, so, and this is City of Death. So what happened is like the pirate planet, City of Death, Revelation. Uh, what was the other one? Resurrection, is it? Resu no, is it Resurrection? Uh, were never novelized. And uh, so who has David Fisher? Um, so they took the scripts and um, John Goss uh, is it, wrote this, wrote a novel version of it to complete the uh, novels that have never been made in the target range. As you see, it's got the old BBC Target book logo on it from the cool. late so that is really cool I was super excited about seeing this range come out and uh, there's a whole new lot coming out very shortly with Revelation and Resurrection I think that's the name of the two stories um, and The Pirate Planet so super excited about getting those books plus Doctor Who, the movie's getting novelised The Dalek is getting uh, novelised um, The Witcher is it The Witchers? The uh, 13th Doctor story, and then I can't remember the rest of them, so there you go. But yeah, super excited because they've got old school uh, classic covers. And then, of course, we've got the, the book that started this whole craziness that has gone on for 15 years, you know. Well, actually, it's gone on for, what are we up to, 57 years, I think. Yeah, something like that, since 63. So, yeah, since 63. So here it is. Uh, made Billy Piper was already a star, but this made her a superstar. And Christopher Eccleston, you know, one of my favorite doctors. You know, pretty cool. Pretty dark doctor. Uh, I think it's cool that he only did one season, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and we're supposed to be getting is the prequel supposed to drop today or tomorrow. Uh, so apparently in the 15th anniversary, uh, no, the 50th anniversary of the show, uh, Russell T. Davis did a quick clip or quick mini episode with Billy Piper. And it's a prequel to Rose, I believe. Is that right? I think so. I so believe that, yeah. yeah, it's it's meant to drop at some stage over the weekend. So super excited. So it's the 15th anniversary today. So it'll be tomorrow, Ray. So, um, so yeah, so happy birthday, Doctor Who, for uh, 15 years of uh, modern Who. Cool. So, yeah. Um, oh, and also, because he's one of my favourite characters, and I am so into Star Trek again. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but, like, I'm a Whovian, but also a Trekkie. So while there was no Doctor Who on... Back in the 90s, I went hardcore into Trek and Trek. The next generation, let's go over to my cousin, who was one of my best friends, uh, place every Friday night to watch The Next Generation on his TV. And then Voyager, Deep Space Nine, then Discovery, we've got Enterprise, now we've got Picard. So I brought one of those blind boxes because they were half price. So I got Data. 
<laughs> the one I wanted. It was either Picard, the Borg, Lacutus, Lacutus, uh, Borg, or uh, Data. So I got Data. So freaking A to that. It was that's awesome, man. Cool. So, yep. So um, that is all I have got, um, apart from the Hulk that I got recently. Um, True. I can't think of anything else. I'll, I'll Kyle, call I figured out how to change pictures. Oh, have you? Yeah. How do we do that? Well, if you'll, if you'll go to where it's showing me, you'll see that I've changed my picture. I see that. Oh. <laughs> just, I see just that. Um, mm -hmm. You've got to turn off your camera. Right. So how do I do that? Stop cam? Yeah. And down at the bottom left, you'll see like your square and your name and like a square uh, thing right beside that, right? Yeah. Click edit avatar, choose a picture you want, and crop it and press save. I see. Okay. Well, of course, yeah. Right. Um, changing pictures. Of course, you have to be logged in to StreamYard for it to actually save, which I'm not logged in to StreamYard at the moment, but that's okay. Oh, so there you go. See? Um, here you go. See? There you go. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for leaving me out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I just show Gene, I'll just quickly show you again if you missed it. But uh, it's 15 years of Doctor Who today, well, modern Who. Um, now I've got a, how do I get my care? Oh, I see. Start camp. There we go. So I got these books recently. We got Rose, City of Death, one of the greatest stories ever written by Douglas Adams. Twice Upon a Time. Twice Upon a Time. Day of the Doctor. Great episode. The Three Doctors. And the Abominable Snowman. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, they're pretty cool. So, and then also I got this real, real cool we roadside gallery. Very cool. So yeah. Um. So, has anybody got anything to show? Or and no, even if I did, um, I think my arms are too tired. To yeah, show much. That's that's the. Uh, the downside to having a big pile of comments. <laughs> yeah. But you're I'm, gonna have I'm, to... I'm hoping to have a bigger pile next time. Yeah. <laughs> so I think me and Ray will go live tomorrow for the hell of it. I don't know why, but we're we're going to. Um, good, we'll just do something stupid, you know. Okay. Hey, we we've we've gotta make another Southern Bastards episode. Yeah, we'll get that, that uh, splash page or someone. On it, there. It's been what, like a year since our last episode? I'm, yep. too, I'm too north to be on there. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's not so much like the southern hemisphere or whatever. Um, I think that's the right term. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not so much that as it is southern of your location, of your country. So for me, it's like Tennessee, and for Kyle, it's uh, South Canterbury, South South Canterbury. South Island. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so um, Gene, you're qual you're qualified enough. If you if you go if you go north far enough, you you start going south. So mm -hmm. how's it going over where you are, Gene? Are you in lockdown? What's the go? Oh, we're buried in snow. Uh, we're we're buried in snow. We're on lockdown. Uh, hang on, am I mute? No. Yeah, we just had thirty centimeters of snow on top of everything. Uh, yeah. Most places aren't accepting cash. It's debit only. Um, everybody's really freaked out and paranoid. We went we got from having zero cases to yeah, we went from having zero cases. 
to nine to thirty five in, in a forty eight hour period. Yeah, so, we're the we're, we're the same. We've uh, spiked. Uh, like today, we had eighty three. It's the most we've had. So we've got three hundred and sixty three cases of it. Uh, but we're in the whole country is in full lockdown. Has been for uh, forty eight hours now. Is it forty eight hours? No, no, not quite. So um, this is day two of it. And, Look, I'm, uh, I'm not one person to tell people what to be doing, but yeah, yeah. Even if you have the coronavirus, if you have a healthy immune system, stay home. Yeah, absolutely. If you're, if you, if you're an elderly person, because your your body will fight it off. If you're yeah. an elderly person, if you have an autoimmune deficiency, uh, go to the hospital if you have it. Don't don't fuck around. Yep. Or um, any underlying d- diseases such as diabetes, right? As well, right. yeah, diabetes, the, heart disease, and, and, and uh, people asthma. think you know these, these also too. If it worsens, still, even then, like go home and treat it. But if it worsens, go to the hospital because these have long term. What we know is that they'll they that they will have long term complications to your respiratory and your and your neurological systems and and just yeah you know just be it's just it's, just the you know i mean it's it's probably the biggest event in history since world war ii for well, global well you're forgetting about i remember very vividly ebola and sars yeah yeah and they, they were the same kind of concerns and the same kind of oh absolutely that. I but, have about uh, this is that is is that the SARS went away. They never ever did come up with a cure for it. Yeah. Right. So like I yeah think absolutely that, yeah yes. So I think that this illness will take a real dip where people will feel comfortable as if it's going away, and then it'll spike back up again. That's what yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, people yeah, don't do people don't do well with quarantine. Quick, sorry. Can, it's can you not hear me? Yeah. Can you can you not hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah. It's going to take a dip, and then it's going to take a rise. Uh. I, I, there's going to be a second wave of it because people are going to feel comfortable enough to go do the things that they need to do. Uh. All of it to just try and take pressure off of uh. The already stressed healthcare. So anything anybody can do, like stay home. Like I had to go out and get beer. That's not an, an essential, yeah. but I went out and got it. Went in, paid, left by five seconds in and out. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm, wash essential, your hands. I'm an essential worker. So it's been a bit, a bit surreal actually working and uh, being quarantined at work. Like we're separated <clears throat> like this. I've got a crew of four, and that's who I see all day. Uh, I have my smokos now with the, those four people. Don't see anybody else. There's a factory of 60, and it's just us. I feel super safe because they've done that. We're doing different hours. We do the same hours, but we're just being separated. So, you know. The, the weirdest thing is uh, I went to go get a simple prescription filled. Yeah, and uh, it really felt like something out of a doomsday movie. Um, oh, it's, I w- yeah. I went to go watch Contagion last night, and I said, "You know what? I don't need to watch this right now." <laughs> <laughs> I was walking home today up the main street of Tamuka, and I saw one person and three cars. So, you know, it's weird. It's like, yeah, the last day on earth or whatever. You know, there's no one around. You're, you're I am legend. <laughs> you're Will Smith. <laughs> walking yeah. around you know and nobody's well, I, I can like okay so like when i went out to get these a couple beer i had yeah um there was traffic there was a lot of people in line to get fried chicken for some reason <laughs> yeah so we you know there's a lot of people around here that are just going through drive throughs getting takeout well all our takeaways are closed there is no, so there'll be a lot of millennials that'll be having withdrawal symptoms in a couple of days. No KFC, no McDonald's, no Subway. Well, one of the big problems that we <laughs> seriously one of the one of the big problems that we have right now is that 
when we come out of this, or yeah. we will come out of it. When we come out of it, we're going to have a recession. We're going to have a surplus of items and nobody will want to buy them because they have bought everything up in prior. So you're going to have a lot of stuff that's bad produce that's going to go bad and things that's going to go off and, and yeah. um, items that won't be bought and shifts won't be needed. People won't need to come into work if there's no work to be done. Yeah, and um, so that that's everybody's going to have to do that part as well. They're going to have to do their part. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's interesting times. You know, we'll come out of it in a few weeks' time. We're in lockdown for a month. So, Chalula asked, you know. I wonder how it'll affect the comic book market. I think it already has. Yeah. Um, people. Are panicking and selling what they can you'll see an influx i would guarantee if you there was some algorithm you could see i would say that the, there's been a rise of comic book sales uh not necessarily listings not sales listings on on ebay and kijiji's and marketplace and various yeah. other sites in order to just move that second third copy of whatever so that they can take that cash and put it down towards safety, security, what have you. That's what that's what this is all for. If I didn't have my safety net when I bounced out, when I did and sold everything, uh, I would have been in big trouble. That's what this is for. You always have to remember that this is a safety net. As cool as they are, as amazing as they are, and I, I've got to start over, and I will get them all again. Let me. I'm a I'm a reborn fucking collector now at this point, you know. Except, uh, yeah. So, but um, yeah. I I think I think it's already affecting the market, and you can see it. Uh, somebody pointed out two sales, an amazing fantasy fifteen on a very 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 low sales on it. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of unheard of. So. I think people are tight with their money right now, so it might be a good time to buy. Uh, might be a bad time to sell. People well, are afraid. The, the pounce on an X Men four or an X Men number one, maybe. Pe pe well, you know, uh, some people too will will look at this and say, "Well, this is only temporary." Depends on who you're dealing with and the seller that you're dealing with. This is not something I. I I've done my research. I I. I feel very confident in saying like this is not something that's going to go away uh, in a couple of months this is this is going to linger this is going to stay and yeah, people are going to need money and uh, i think any comic book auctions that are happening if you see books that you want help out yeah. buy buy books when people are doing auctions here on youtube especially the people that we know and not even just people we know when you see auctions on here people are doing it and if it makes sense obviously don't don't be dumping your money in this shit right now but yeah help out there's lots of good stuff i was just watching alex comic quarter he let something go uh beautiful fantastic four lot boom somebody picked it up deadly awesome like you know cool. right like support like support because uh yeah yeah, I, th I think this will linger for a while because um, my mate asked me, um, was, uh, I'm in a group chat and <clears throat> we're called the Faith No Morers. You know, we're all going to go to Faith No More in May and meet up there and all oh, people that I used to get around with in Timaru, my flatting days. Well, that's not going to ha happen. And one of them messaged me and said, well, do you think that concert will... Uh, Will go on sometime this year. And I said it won't. It won't be for about a year or a year and a half. No one's going to be traveling. No one's going to be doing anything for people, quite some time. It's, people, uh, people have started relisting stuff for 2021. Yeah. For example, yeah. the yeah. Olympics that are happening yeah. in 2021 have been postponed, yeah. and and are, so if they're already postponing something, you know, and I understand preparation takes place for that. But yeah. in 2021, you're talking about another year from now. Yeah. This, is, this is the beginning of this year. Yeah. Uh, Cause, that, cause that's, that's, yeah. Totally look, agree. Um, so, so what's going to happen is like 
uh, it's going to, we're going to beat this virus and then it's going to take months before other countries do. It's just, a, it's going to be a slow process and the border's going to be closed for a while. That's it. Here's the problem that, well, one of the first problems I remember seeing was, <clears throat> you know, untruths. A lot of people being untrue about what what was actually happening, yeah. but uh, right now there's there's satellite imagery of over Saudi Arabia of these giant pits being dug, which are yeah. going to be mass graves. Yeah, um, <clears throat> when this hits, so, when this is North America, uh, North Africa, the way it's and it's working its way there. Yeah, because yeah. and then that's why Saudi Arabia is in preparation because Italy has taken a toll. They're their highest record, and then you have Spain. It's creeping up crazy. It's making yeah. its way down south, and when it hits Africa, there is going to be astronomical numbers. Oh, it will be. You're absolutely right because and, you know. And everybody can make all the jokes that they want to alleviate the stress or, or whatever or or how it started out. But this is, you know, this is, I, I don't mean to be getting all serious and shit, but this is something that, like, I have family members who could die from this if they got it. Yeah. You know, so, like, it's yeah. not it's not funny anymore. It's not, a, no. a like, a meme or a joke or whatever. Like, and... uh it's crazy. Like I'd be fine if I got it. I'd be fine, you know. Yeah, I'm nervous because my I'm a chronic asthmatic. Yeah, but yeah. I am taking every precaution. I'm fit. I'm young and I'm healthy, and uh, I'm taking every precaution possible. To make sure I don't. You know, I have to work, but we're clear. You know, it's hygiene. That's the key. Yeah. You know, so. But that's um, the that's way it's like I have I have a, a sister with a heart condition. I have a brother yeah. with diabetes. I have a mother with lupus. Uh, yeah, it's it's scary yeah. stuff. And then my brother in law, my sister is a pharmacist. My brother in law is a um, works with uh, over at the hospital with with uh, let's call it Eastern Health. Uh, it's see, scary. See, the thing I can't understand is we're in lockdown over here. The whole country. Prime Minister made a decision on Monday. Whole country's going down, you know, going un, uh, going into lockdown. Australia is still not in lockdown. And it's spreading like wildflies in Sydney. I don't get it. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, but, but is Australia only now getting their freedom back from the fires or are the fires still going on? No, the fires are over, yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, they're, all, they're only getting yeah. their freedom back now, so they're, they're not just ready yet just yet to hand it back over they've got to recuperate from that as well like you, you yeah give them a bit I mean, of grace gotta give them a getting, bit of grace it's getting them to the i don't know how many uh, people have got it but it's it's climbing there yeah. uh, over there people you know it's like uh new york city it's out of control over there what's happening there with it so it's crazy watching but here, it from- here is the thing with the biggest problem is that there's two interpretations people view it as like oh my god i got coronavirus yeah it's not so bad that you have the coronavirus if you're a healthy person you can fight it off yeah absolutely the problem yeah. Is, yeah. is that you can transmit it to somebody who isn't healthy or doesn't have a healthy immune system for one reason or another either by illness or just a low immune system, whatever. You yeah. run into somebody who has shingles or somebody, like I said, who has lupus or somebody who has, you know, any kind of going through cancer treatment, anything like yeah. that, you run into them, they are in trouble. Oh, absolutely. It'll, it'll, it'll probably, yeah. As, you know, asthmatics um, yeah. de- developing pneumonia very quickly, uh, things like that. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing. It's nothing to be fucking joking about anymore. Right. You know. But enough with the <laughs> the doom and gloom. <laughs> yeah, I enough agree. With the, enough it's... with the doom and gloom. I. But it, it's a, it's a reality. The best the best advice from myself is uh, if you got to leave the house, make it quick. 
Yes. If you can stay home, stay home. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next two days. I've got two days off, and I'm barricading myself inside. And uh, you know, if someone comes around, sorry, I've got I've I've got a one player game upper deck. Uh, legendary villains. You can play one player. It's a deadly game. So yeah, I'm gonna set that up and just read the instructions. I'm gonna play that. Nice. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got uh, Plex. I'm gonna watch stuff off that, and uh, you know, it's it's life is good. It's all good. A lot know? of a lot of stores um, are making it like elderly only for the first couple hours of opening. Mm. Yeah. Um, to make it a bit safer for them to be able to still do their shopping. Well, did you hear about this? Okay, so like they did this interview of these kids down in Miami. He's like, yeah, we're just trying to enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. And that kid later on came up to apologize, and he said, I'm sorry for my actions. I was ignorant. I was rude and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Clearly somebody told him, like, dude, he was getting a lot of hate, but whatever. Um all these people who are out at these, you know, spring breaks and stuff, they have grandparents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you bring this home to your grandparents and they die, that's on you. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I seen, man. I've seen the thing with Dr. Phil interviewed some dumb young person and she was going, oh, she didn't give us stuff about anybody but herself and said, oh, well, it's their fault if they don't get that virus and they die from it. Not my problem. And I thought, oh, that's crazy that you think and like it, that. And it's not an old person's disease either. And that's the thing, too. They keep, you know, I'm not going to get into it. but Yeah, we, we know what, you know, what's yeah, up. But, <laughs> Straight away, but yeah. Yeah, but it's the it's, it's best thing people can do, like I said. Wash, clean, and be safe. Tidy, safe. be safe. Yeah, be hygienic. We've got a, a word over here. It's just a it's just appeared out of nowhere, but it seems to be the word: stay in your bubble. <laughs> yeah. How many people in your bubble when you stay in that bubble? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. But it, it's a weird way to be. All of a sudden, we just assimi- we just assimilated to it because. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But with almost 8,000 deaths in Italy, like, that's a lot. That's, yeah, horrendous. That is. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of funerals and deaths. But, you know, in, in the United States, I don't know what it is right now. In Canada, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> the UK. I, had a spike the other day. They're just starting to rise up there, I think, with the, the people dying. So they're another country that's, you know, it's, it's interesting. I'll tell you what, I'm fascinated by it all, but also worried, you know. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a Black Mirror episode, man. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I love Black Mirror. That's what it's like. It's like a Black Mirror yeah, it episode. Is. Yeah. It's but... like, it's like all the uh, apocalyptic movies that you've watched in your life, you and we actually got something happening right now, you know. There's things I want to be doing, but I can't do. It's it's very weird. Yeah. Because it usually, like, I'm not talking about, like, oh, it's your favorite cafe and the cafe burnt down. I'm talking yeah. about, like, just the basics of things. You can't go do. You can't go do that right now. And that's, no. that's fucked having that shit taken away from you. Again, well, I'll be doing- I went to the supermarket yesterday. There was only eight people allowed at a time in the supermarket, and we've got to wait till the person's left the aisle before we can go down that aisle. And there's mm-hmm. people spraying everything down before you go in to get intense. your groceries. Super yeah, safe, super clean, you know. Yeah, it's super intense. Yeah. And it was bizarre, but I felt safe, and, and they were safe too, and everything was good, you know. It's crazy. <clears throat> But well, all I can say for myself is that I've been having fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've been uh, <laughs> doing a lot of cooking and meal prepping, working out, uh, cleaning comics, yeah. uh, having a beer or two, smoking some cigarettes, nice. working out, 
do yeah. just do my thing, man. Like, so you are still pressing comics? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, man. I love it. I love that. That's that's cathartic to me, man. For me, I haven't had to change too much because I barely see the sun anyway. Yes, you're vampire a, Ray, yeah, Ten- I'll, Tennessee I'll, vampire. <laughs> you're not a day walker. Oh my ass! And shall watch Blade Two last night. Great movie, man. All three of yeah. them are great. Yeah, I just oh, I think I saw that one in the theaters. Yeah, your, your yeah, camera's off. Awesome. They're uh, Flash Gordon. Is that fine? <laughs> so I think that's got the guy from Bros. He was the vampire in it, wasn't he? So um, it was actually quite a cool, cheesy though. At the same time, um, to watch it and uh, the 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 fighting scenes were phenomenal in it. So yeah. Let me show you something there, Kyle. I think you'll appreciate this. Yep. Boom. All right. You Risk Godstorm. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So, cool. yeah. Just like Risk, except you got a deity, and the deities allow to give you power, and the map is differently, and there's Hades. Yeah. Everything in them. And you play as one of the, one of the you know, Egyptians or the Romans or what have you. Uh, Greeks and things like that, the Persians, and uh, <clears throat> dope. Instead of horses, they're like giant elephants. And oh, that's pretty cool. Dude, I'll tell you what, I love Risk. You know, I am a world champion in Risk. That's the board game version, but not on the, not on the, uh, the phone version of it because you guys pick on me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Elephants instead of horses. Oh, look, that's cool. Did you paint those up, man? Uh, there's the barbarians. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. Single soldiers. Uh, what's that? That's another elephant. Elephants, elephants. <clears throat> but you can build home territory on certain continents. You use coliseums. Oh, that's cool. Um, but there's a whole aspect to it where you got to go through all the different sections of hell before you can gain your characters back. So you have an opportunity to any characters you die, you only start with so many characters, so so many, uh, heroes or, um, warriors, but, uh, you have an opportunity in the underworld to gain them back. Oh, and no. That's, that's a whole secondary game in itself. And it's pretty dope, yeah. dude. If I lived in New Zealand, we'd, we'd fucking crack this game out, no problem. Oh, absolutely. Like I say, I'm a, I'm a, a South Canary World Champion at my flat that I used to live in. <laughs> so, yeah, I love that game. Hang on, I'll get you off the screen. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, um, guys, I've had fun. Should we wrap it up? Uh, sure. Yeah. So, any last requests? No. 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 Okay. So, I'll, I'll just do this quickly and then we'll end the broadcast. So, thank you, Chawla. We're Chawla in the uh, chat. Nanobot, thank you very much. Count Von Strange. Um, did I miss anybody else? No, and uh, someone called Ray, don't know who he is. So, yeah, thank you guys, thank you guys on my panel. It's been a pleasure. Uh, maybe me and Ray will do something tomorrow. I might try and get someone else on. Fuck you can, you're welcome if you want, Gene. Um, Fuck so me. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and um. Like, like this video, comment, share it, whatever you freaking want to. I don't care. Um, and I'm, I want to try and get a thousand subs as well while I'm at it too. So, yeah. Why not? Up. Just, hit, yep. just hit, the, hit the sub. You don't even got to watch this video. It's just no, like, don't, you don't have to watch my content <laughs> when I do it. It's all good. It. But, uh, just give them a sub. Don't watch the content. doesn't matter. <laughs> give me a thumbs down. Actually, thumb me down. I want 
Oh, and heaps of thumbs down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all we'll right. Let's we'll type them up. All right, guys. Later. <laughs> right. We'll catch us all later. See ya. Bye -bye. See ya. In broadcast. Here we go.